Mayor Cheat is trending on social media after the mess that was the Iowa caucus. Now, uh, the app that was supplied to count the caucus results failed, uh, leading to an incredibly slow collection of the vote tally. At this point, we still don't know who actually won. We have not seen full results. Despite that, the campaign of South uh, Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg has actually declared victory according to internal incomplete results. So now they gathered uh, the precincts reporting. They have about 75% uh, precincts reporting, last I knew. And that showed Buttigieg with a first round of 22% and a final round of 25%. So, hey, look, that's pretty good. That puts him at least in the top two spots, right? Uh, either first or second. Uh, now, he would have earned about 28% of delegates, according to his numbers. But there's something incomplete about his numbers. It doesn't show where anybody else is. Now, the one that was uh, supposed to be able to win uh, Iowa, according to you know polling, was Senator Bernie Sanders. So one of the last polls that was actually held up by the Buttigieg campaign that was not released, uh, CNN was supposed to do an hour-long special on it, they didn't uh, because the Buttigieg campaign complained that, hey, look, one person uh, said that Buttigieg was left out of the poll results. So they scrapped the whole thing. But it would have shown Bernie Sanders in a lead over everyone else in the field. All right. So now you also have incomplete uh, results from Sanders who released their uh, stuff. Uh, now, they had about 40 percent precincts uh, reported. Uh, and it showed Sanders with a 29.7% uh, of the vote. So that's closely followed by former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg at 24.6, roughly about the 25% according to Buttigieg's own numbers. So that's really close, really, really close. Now, again, Buttigieg didn't show Bernie's numbers, so we don't know. Now, add to that, irregularities reported by all the camps and really the results pretty much up in the air. So I think it's really, really irresponsible for the Buttigieg campaign or any campaign that, for that matter to declare themselves the winner before the vote is actually done, before it's actually tallied. So now the situation, of course, has the entire internet on fire. So of course you have Bernie Sanders supporters saying, holy crap, this thing is rigged. Um, and then you have a uh, uh, Buttigieg supporter saying must be the Russians, right? And we'll, we'll get to all that. Um, I'm not saying that it was rigged, right? I'm not saying that it's not rigged, but I know the eventual numbers w will come out because all this was backed up by paper, right? And so later on, we will be able to get a full vote count, an accurate vote count. And I do believe that Bernie Sanders, based on, all, like I said, all the polling and, and from everything that I've seen uh, from the caucus results, actually did win, and that Pete Buttigieg is probably in number two. Disastrously, uh, Joe Biden is like four or five. Disaster, right? Uh, but anyway, how embarrassing for Joe Biden. Okay, anyway, so uh, in the case, though, right, of the media narrative, in order to get momentum, right, or, for example, slow another candidate's momentum, well, if you want to do something like that, well, this would be the situation in which you could do it. <laughs> After all, the app that they used in Iowa is incredibly shady. Guess what they were uh, designed by, developed by? Shadow Incorporated. I'm not kidding. Shadow Incorporated. It, it, like its namesake, Shadow Incorporated is very secretive and actually has given out very little information about the app. Now, we find out from reporting, and all of this is breaking, Buttigieg and his campaign have financial ties to Shadow Incorporated. Oh, now that's super curious. Now, according to a report by the, Get the Gray Zone, the firm was staffed, Shadow Inc., staffed by former Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama campaign veterans, and was created by the Democratic Dark Money nonprofit backed by hedge fund billionaires, including a man named Seth Klarman. So uh, Klarman is a prolific funder of pro-settler Israeli lobby organizations. 
Carmen has also contributed directly to Pete Buttigieg's campaign. Uh, yes, Corey Rutson uh, asks, uh, the Shadow uh, developed, Shadow Inc. developed uh, the app that everyone is using, except for the Bernie Sanders team. Bernie Sanders team is using a different app, but it, I believe it was reported, and I'm not 100% certain on this, uh, but they had some issues as well with the Bernie app. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, now, there's more. Um, again, we have uh, billionaires, right, funding the development of this app and funding this company, people that are related to uh, the Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama campaign. It's not exactly, uh, you know, the, look, it, it's, it's not as if Hillary Clinton and, and, and uh, you know, Barack Obama staffers love Bernie Sanders and want him to win, right? So, look, that's really sh uh, fishy. Right now, we also know that Buttigieg, his campaign really needs a win in Iowa to continue or else he stops getting funders. OK, so now it's certainly possible that a lot of this is coincidence, right, or human error or, you know, whatever, nothing shady afoot. And there's all sorts of uh, just just a giant mess with unnecessary technology, complicated caucus process, all that stuff. I mean, it seems like every four years we have a primary in Iowa that has some sort of messed up issues. But yeah, look, that's not stopping people from speculating and obviously jumping to the worst conclusions. And after 2016, and the more that we find out about this, I can't say it, blame y'all. Now, I want to show you some tweets here uh, from people that are outraged. Uh, Beth Purity Test Enthusiast says, can we even be considered a democracy at this point? Look, you know, if we're another country... Or if another country were having the same kind of electoral issues as we are right now, we would be like, you guys need to get uh, election watchers in there, stat, pronto, because it looks like there's some corruption going on. But we don't do that here in America. I mean, who's going to dare do that to us, right? Uh, Sam Pioneer says, so Shadow, the app that is supposed to count the votes, funded by Mayor Cheat and ran by ex Hillary Clinton staff, yet the U.S. has nerved to demand free and fair elections from other countries. Uh, breaking Juan Guido is now the winner of Iowa. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about that. Uh, but basically, it seems like anything goes. Jamarines uh, uh, says, "I can't wait till the DNC realizes that as a country, we moved past the idea of the temporary globe from Iowa. Once the results are official, Mayor Cheat will be impacted greatly. He tried to steal one, but we see you lurking in the shadow." Oh, that's really good. A uh, $3 Bernie Yard sign says the only thing better than waking up to Mayor Cheat would be the actual caucus results. And that's what I'm waiting for. Because, look, the results here, it's very likely that Bernie Sanders has won. But, again, you get the media narrative, right, uh, from Mayor Pete basically announcing earlier, oh, I won. Now I've got momentum going into New Hampshire. All that media momentum uh, and that narrative – they matter a lot. That's why Iowa is important. Iowa's only got 41 delegates. So delegate count, it, it's almost nothing, right? Especially when you compare it to Super Tuesday. Now, Super Tuesday is major. However, Iowa creates momentum for whichever candidate uh, wins, right? And it doesn't necessarily translate into, oh, this person, if you win Iowa, you're going to win the rest of the election. No, that's not entirely the case. But it does help a campaign. It certainly doesn't hurt a campaign to win. Uh, so, yes, if uh, Bernie Sanders wins Iowa, you know, that helps him. He's already got a commanding lead in New Hampshire, but it might make the difference in some place like South Carolina, where he's five points away from Biden. And so, yes, momentum and narrative matters, especially when a lot of people are now paying attention uh, to the primaries and they see the media narrative. And look, human nature is, they tend to back the winner. And so, I mean, this this is this is important. And if there is trickery afoot, well then that that's that's huge. That's a big problem. Now, more a couple more tweets here. Uh, Malcolm Fleshner says, not sure why Pete Buttigieg thinks he's shocked the world. That was part of his tweet. By showing he's a presumptuous entitled self-involved suck up. Wasn't that already pretty obvious? Oof. Oof, oof. Tabula Rasa says, 
So let me get this straight. Mayor Cheat had internal numbers showing he lost and then still claimed victory. How does that work exactly? And there's tons of others like this. I know Corey Rotson also says we cannot allow it to be okay because they only stole 41 delegates. No, no, nobody says that this is okay. What I'm saying is that overall, overall in the primary, one state, one contest isn't as far as delegate counts goes going to be super um, important about who actually wins the primary, right? Uh, those delegates do matter, but in the overall scheme of things, they're just a small part of the delegates that are available. It, so it just comes down to math, right? And yes, you're right. Those kids in Iowa did not vote for Pete. And that's why this is important. That's why we're talking about this, right? Because we actually do want correct results. This isn't uh, necessarily about who, like, uh, who won, right? If there were erroneous results and Bernie Sanders was shown the, wither, the winner, then we would also seem to have questions. I mean, I certainly would have questions. I'm a fan of Bernie Sanders. You can see the shirt. Uh, but it's like, hold on here. We like Bernie Sanders, and we, but we wouldn't abide him cheating. We wouldn't abide Biden cheating. We wouldn't abide anybody cheating. So now that it's uh, Pete Buttigieg, and those shady links, I mean, of course we have to question this, right? And of course, there seems to be a big problem, right? Uh, 41 will be critical at the convention. Every delegate is critical at the convention. And so, uh, like, don't mistake what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, I'm just saying that there is there is a math component to this as well. And like, one one like, if you win Iowa or if you lose Iowa... Okay, so if you win Iowa, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win the election, right, um, or get the nomination. If you lose Iowa, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to lose the nomination. A lot of it is momentum. A lot of it is media narrative. And yes, all those delegates are important, which is why you want to win Iowa, which, which is why you want to uh, basically win every state that you can. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to say that, that Iowa is not important. But anyway, okay. So now, guess what the opposite side is 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 claiming this, right? They're claiming that all this is a result of the Russians. It's the Russians. It's okay. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, we don't know the whole story. We don't know all the facts that are out, right? Well, now what we know is is certainly very shady and points to some electoral issues. Right. With uh, especially uh, with this app. Right. That is funded by Obama staffers and, and, and you know, uh, people that back Pete Buttigieg. That's very, very shady. There is a big problem. Right. Um, but look, I don't know. It would be irresponsible for me to claim without a doubt that that is the truth. Right. Uh, without more evidence. And so I'm going to wait for more things to come out more information before I say it was 100% rigged by Pete Buttigieg. I, personally, I think it is very, very possible and, it, and it's more likely, but I don't know for sure. And I don't want to say that it is 100%, right? Uh, but I also don't want to say, I'm, I'm not going to say Russians because there's been absolutely no evidence that there are Russians involved in this. And so that's what a lot of the people that are Pete Buttigieg supporters, Hillary Clinton supporters, and all that. That's what they're saying. Oh, it's the Russians. And if you're doing, if you're retweeting, you know, uh, hashtag, uh, you know, Mayor Cheat, well, then you're a Russian asset. And that's absolutely ridiculous. Okay. It, you know, if you were actually worried about Russians, if you're actually worried about cheaters, which we are, then maybe we should do something about both. And I say, get rid of the caucus. Do hand count of paper ballots. Have the ballot counted in plain sight by independent commissioners. I'm sick of not being able to trust the results of our elections. And by the way, had this happened, like I said, with Bernie, and had he claimed victory with all of this going on, I would hope that we would be asking the same questions. It's, it's not necessarily about who won in this case. It's about whether or not we can actually trust our election results. And I don't. It shows, all of this shows that we cannot trust our elections. And that, to me, as an American, as somebody who actually cares about elections, about politics, 
that is deeply, deeply disturbing. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.